Just hammering some steel into place, you know, doing some man stuff. It's for a project I'm working on. Don't worry, they won't sidetrack me for my reviews. But, um, yeah, I need to wait for that steel to cool. So while it's doing, I'll make another video about a bad Iron Man 3 toy. How's that sound? Alright, that sounds good. So, yet again, play that awesome theme song. I love that theme song. I'm in a What's up YouTube, Powerball here with a brand new video review. This time the Iron Man 3 concept series Strike Eagle Armor and this figure is bad. Right off the back of this review, this is a really bad figure. And I hate it. A lot. This is actually my second hated figure out of Iron Man 3. And don't worry, we'll get to the first one eventually. But let's remove these and I'll explain why I hate it. This is a cheap version of my favorite mold from Iron Man 2, which is my favorite toy line. In fact, I dug out the figure to do a comparison. This is the Iron Man Inferno Mission Armor or Fire Mission Armor. I'm not sure which one it was. It was definitely a Fire Armor. But uh, here it is in comparison to this piece of crap. You can see that this is just a phenomenal figure. I mean, it has phenomenal paint apps. Uh, they painted the inside of the hands. They painted... Oh, uh, they actually didn't paint the bottom of the Boots, which is kind of shocking because they always do that but they painted the back of the figure they this figure has articulation it's it's a phenomenal figure I mean I highly recommend picking this one up if you're an Iron Man fan or even a Marvel Universe fan just definitely pick this one up it's phenomenal definitely wor worth the money asked on eBay even the repaint which I do have the repaint is still a phenomenal sculpt and figure so they took this phenomenal figure that was really actually well received by fans and made a cheap version of it as well, why do you hate us? I suppose it was so that people who went around or couldn't afford this one or even get it could have a second chance, which is all good, except it's completely different. Alright. So, yeah. It's a cheap figure of an awesome figure. It's not going to be well received. But before we actually talk any more about the figure, I do have some promises to fulfill, um, mostly with these things really quick. Um, for those of you who wanted me to do the whole thing where I show off these kind of bind because I said it looked cool, I'll do it real quick for you guys. You can see that it looks very flush, very cool. I really like how this looks. I mean, it looks so cool and so sick. So, yeah. Uh, those of you who wanted to see that, you can now see it. And because some of you guys want me to show it and I didn't show it in the review, I'll show that the combining of these things. Now, one thing I found is that the peg is a lot tighter than I remember, so some of the accessories don't like to peg in as well. This one actually went in really easily, while this one probably won't. There we go. A little difficult to get them in. And again with the drill, same thing. I'm try and plug that on. And this one, especially the drill, has a really hard trouble letting the connection go in. You can see. And yeah, it, by the way, I got it to work once. There we go. You can do that. You can peg it on. So, yeah. People wanted me to show that off. I showed it off. There you go. You're happy. And just real quick, you can, in fact, give this to other figures. You just gotta be careful because it's clear plastic and you're stressing it out. But yeah, you can give other figures these accessories which are really nice. I really like them. So put that off to the side along with this. We're actually going to keep these accessories because this guy, you can actually peg accessories onto him. But um, we'll get to that in a minute. So now let's talk about the figure. Uh, packaging is pretty simple. Uh, picture the bio here everything you need to know and there we go so articulation on this figure is um, how do I say horrible the ball joint moves left and right along with a little bit up and a little bit down but nothing to write home about one thing I could say about these toys was they had good ball joints in the head they kinda went back on that thank you Hasbro for your constant middle finger in all of our faces 
arms 360 legs go up barely anything and then back barely anything seriously hardly anything and in case you're wondering the ball joints on these figures are this one and this one are too big because the ball joint right here is far bigger than the one on the normal figure so you can't swap the heads around something i thought you could do but apparently you can't i apologize for that oh yeah and detailing it's just cheap version here like quick pictures like here's the back here's the legs front of the legs arms and head okay so very cheap it's the exact same detail that's again as on this phenomenal figure but cheap down seriously i don't know how how you can keep making these figures so cheap they're horrible already and by the way uh the name of this figure doesn't bug me because this actually does look like a flight armor especially with the wings the kind of wing tips here and this here and then these shoulder pads it does fit the description of a wing or flight suit or eagle armor so the name doesn't bug me that much unlike this figure which was called the suitcase armor because it was a cheap version of another figure that was a repan of the suitcase armor god i gotta get a life or a girlfriend one of those two because i know way too much about these toys now his accessories are actually these really cool looking almost fire extinguishers which is kind of weird because these are supposed to be the flight boost units now this figure does come with any instructions or pictures so i'm not quite sure how they're supposed to attach the only way that i found that they can attach and stay on is through attaching them onto the arms and even then it looks pretty weird because for one you're going to rub off the paint on the shoulder shoulders by doing this and it would have been kind of cool if they had them on the shoulder and then they fold down but i mean it looks like it should be able to do he to go here and that looks cool but it doesn't and again they don't uh go on the they don't stay on the legs it's just barely any friction that keeps them on if they do so we'll attach them they look a little goofy because there's a lot of gaps and space between it i mean if it was more flush that would look cool but uh yeah i do like the concept and the idea but the execution of it's really bad and by the way here's a picture of it and then on the top it looks nice and it does have a hole on it by the way but it's just a really tight hole so you're gonna have trouble pegging things in on it so yeah this this is just a bad toy i mean this is my second to least favorite toy in the entire iron man 3 line so far so yeah, my final verdict on this toy is that it's a horrible toy. I don't recommend picking it up. If you like the mold or the design of it, then definitely pick up the original version. It's worth the money. It's a far more superior figure. And even the repaint that had gold instead of silver is a phenomenal figure. I own it, so I can attest to that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the view. Let me know what you guys think of this figure down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Normal stuff. And I also appreciate if you actually leave me a comment what you think of this figure because if i get enough comments i'll probably do a flashback review on this figure because again it's a phenomenal figure and by the way you can also follow me on facebook and twitter if you haven't i would appreciate it if you did link in the description and you can hit the like button right there next to the description you know it's just right down there go ahead hit it and yeah, would appreciate it all right so i'll see you guys with another review till then adios